Welcome to the very first chapter of economics. One can say economics is a term coined for something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. From something as simple as buying some veggies from our next door petty shop. The entire world of economics is encompassed into demand and supply that is existent in the market and the price we all pay is just a balance between demand and supply that exists in the economy. Starting with the bigger economy, which is the world as a whole, consists of a large number of buyers and sellers. These buyers and sellers exchange commodities for a price on a day-to-day -day basis. These exchanges happen to satisfy the demands of the consumer. Hence, it becomes essential to understand the concept of demand. What is demand? To take you through an example, say there is a smartphone available in the market with some amazing features. Now, how would you determine the effective demand for this phone? Effective demand is determined by three key components. First one. Here we have Ramod. The first requirement for effective demand is that Ramod should have a desire to buy as well as own this phone. Second, now that Ramoth has entered his first job, he weighs his income and expenses to understand his ability to buy the smartphone. He decides whether he can afford to spend this money today, considering the likely expenses he might incur in the immediate future. For example, medical expenses, food expenses, etc. In other words, is he willing to forego this amount today, which drives us to the second component, measuring Ramod's ability to pay? Third, considering the features of the phone, is Ramod willing to pay the price of rupees 30,000, considering the features of the phone which he will be receiving in return, which drives us to the third component, which is willingness to buy. Therefore, one can rightly say, an effective demand is created when, at a given point, there is 1. A desire to buy, the fact that you want to buy a product. 2. An ability to buy. Do you have sufficient disposable income to afford to buy the product you desired? And 3. Willingness to pay. It is important that for a demand to be effective, all the three components are present. For example, a child may desire to buy a toy, but does not have the ability to pay for the toy himself. The absence of this one element results in ineffective demand. To summarize, the concept of demand is nothing but demand refers to the quantity a consumer is willing to buy at a given price over a given period of time.